My name is Frank. I'm 68 years old and I'm addicted to Takish. The first time I ate a bag of Takish was back in 2015. When my tongue touched that chili dust for the first time, my heart was racing and my heart hasn't stopped racing since. I usually keep a couple bags in my van. You never know when you're gonna have a crate. Oh, oh no, not again. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. oh, there you go, there you go. Everything's all right. Sorry about that. If I don't smell a talkie every 70 seconds, bad things happen, so. I make sure to always have a talkie on me at all times. About six months ago, I got in a pretty bad car accident. And when I got hit, there was a giant flash. And in the middle of that flash, there was a talkie. Then I thought, my golly gee, I think God wants me to make a giant talkie. And so that's what I did. This right here is a one foot talkie in all its glory. It has all the great taste of talkies, but it's a big one. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. One time, I found an old talkie inside my couch, and like anyone else would do, I ate it. But it tasted more delicious than usual. So that's when I decided to start aging my talkies. I like to hang them off the ceiling that way, the flavor gets to each chip. As you can see, I have a couple of them aging right now. That way, I always have a steady supply. Oh, you see that chip right there? I've been aging that chip for five years, and I think it's finally time to try it out. Bone apple tea. Oh, oh it's, it's really good. Oh, this aging process just, just really helps with the flavor so much. I'm gonna just leave this one right here, let it age a little more. <coughs> oh, that flavor's intense. Let me go show you the other things. Oh, last year, my doctor informed me that I was extremely unhealthy. I guess eating 20 bags of Takis a day is bad for you. So, I've been eating my Takis with other more nutritious meals, like toast, eggs, and sometimes even my salads. Hey, Grandpa, here's the hammer you asked for. Boy, I asked for a chair. Ooh, Takis, can I have some? Excuse me? You sure as H-E-L-L -L cannot. There's not enough Takis in this bag for the both of us. Now leave me and my babies alone one of my favorite parts about eating Takis are the Takis fingers they leave you with. But sometimes I can't have dirty hands. That's why every time I leave the house now, I make sure to bring an extra hand. This is my Takis hand. Now I can enjoy the guilty pleasures of Takis fingers without the mesh. Here, let me show you. Oh yeah. Um, Takis are amazing and I really can't live without them. If I had to choose between my mother and a bag of Takis, well, all I gotta say is goodbye, mama. I'll give you $100 if you could guess all five Takis flavors. Ready, set, go. Buhi. Fuego. Guacamole. Mmm, nitro. Zombie! What? Crunchy fajita? Oh, I'm the talkie king. I should know that. Gosh dang it! I'm running low on talkies! My name is Frank, and I'm still addicted to talkies. One time when I left the house, I actually ran out of talkies. It was a horrible experience. So since then, I promised myself 
that wouldn't happen again. 371, 372, 373. It's not the usual amount, but it'll do. I like to keep my truck stocked to the brim with talkies, cause you never know what type of situation you'll find yourself in. Let's just say a couple bags of these can take you a long way. I used to go through about 20 rounds of talky fingers a day, but then I realized why well, have talky fingers when you can have talky arms? <laughs> this is a game changer. I covered my entire arm in talky dust, but why have a one arm covered when you can have two arms covered? <laughs> Yo, what's going on? This is Frank on the track. That's me. And we about to go double plan them with this. Mm -hmm. Maybe even triple. Yes, sir. Who knows? Y'all ain't ready. Listen, listen. If you ain't talking talkish, I don't I want to talk. Bags on my hip makes it hard to walk. Mm -hmm. Talkish on my mind, so, so I, I stay on my grind. On my fingers, hands got that shine. Bars play like, like my talking bag. If you talk smack, I'm talking bag. You see me, I'm built different. 40 bags a day, that's, that's the difference. difference. You weak rookie numbers, listen, I'm a bag. Listen. Talkish when you hear this, run me my check. Woo! I know you felt that. I know you felt that. That's all you're getting. The song's not done yet, so let me just go ahead and complete the song for y'all. <laughs> well, hello there, muchacho. You liking what you see? You remind me of this bag, Fuego. <laughs> she must be blind. Ain't no woman saying no to all of this. I recently replaced my coffee grounds with talkie dust. And let me tell you, my mornings have never started better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just think it needs a little more talking dust, that's it. Since I'm getting older, my health is a concern for me. So, I created my own medicine. I used to take all kinds of medications and such that the doctors would recommend. And let me tell you, that stuff never worked. I just felt sick and sick. So then that's when I took matters into my own hands. And I created Taki's Pills. It's Hockey dust, but in a pill form. I like to pop one of these bad boys before I go to sleep. It never really helps me with my sleep, but it tastes good in my mouth. Why not another one? Talkies bring me great joy and happiness. A day without talkies is a day wasted. And I'm sure as heck not wasting my days. This is a Taki, Taki's Fuego to be exact. And for the next 30 days, I'm gonna have to survive off this single Taki. Here are the rules. Rule number one, I can't eat anything else besides this one Taki, unless I can convince someone to trade me for more Takis. Excuse me, I was wondering, would you be down to trade your bag of Takis for my single Taki? Rule number two, I can't drink anything. And rule number three, I can't break rules one and two. All right, all right, I'll follow the rules. I should also add, I'm a trained professional, so do not attempt this. So, Mom, I'm coming to you because I need some moral support and words of encouragement. For what? Well, for the next 30 days, I'm gonna be surviving off this, sing off this single talkie. Why? For views. How are you gonna survive? You need food. Well, that's why I need your words of encouragement. You literally going to die. And there it was. The motivation I was looking for from none other than my mom. She doesn't think I can make it. And according to Google, they don't think I can make it either. But are Google and my mom right? Or are they just my biggest haters? So I'm about six hours into the challenge so far and I feel pretty good. Okay, maybe I'm a little hungry, but the good thing is I only have to do this for 29 more days. You know what? Maybe my mom was right. This was a stupid idea. Okay, so it's been about two days since I've had something to eat or drink, so I need to find someone to trade with me, aka retail arbitrage. Hi, uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering, would you be down to trade my single talkie for one of your bags? Why would I do that? 
Well, I'm doing a challenge where I'm trying to survive off this single talkie for 30 days. Get out of here, man. I'm serious, get out of my store. Okay, so that didn't really go as planned, so I guess I have to find other people to what trade with them. What are you still doing here? I told you to leave or I'm gonna call the cops. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. You two, get out of here. There's a kid over there with a bag of Takis. I'm gonna go over there and ask him if he's down to trade. Excuse me, I was wondering, would you be down to trade your bag of Takis for my single Takis? I know it sounds weird, but I'm trying to do a challenge. Trade your danger! Trade what, what, what? Your no, 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 I'm just trying to trade Takis, that's it. I'm not trying to do anything else. My mom said to always defend myself. What do you mean? Ow, oh my God. Why did you pepper spray me? Oh my God, it burns. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Okay, but change of plans. We're just gonna stick with this single talkie for the rest of the days. Ah, stupid kid. Since my single talkie had to keep me alive for 28 more days, I had the brilliant idea of sniffing the talkie to acquire its nutrients. <laughs> and that did absolutely nothing. On day four and five, I took it a step further and began licking my Taki. Uh, and I'm really happy to report that it also did absolutely nothing. On day six, I finally took my first nibble. On day seven, I took another nibble. On day eight, I did not take a nibble. I just stared at it until I took another nibble. And then to distract me from my hunger, I violently screamed for four days straight. But on day 13, that's when the hunger and thirst hit me like a freight train, and I became delusional. Is that a bag of hot Cheetos you have in my city, boy? I desperately needed help, but from who? A therapist, a nutritionist, my mom? No, all of those people would be useless for my mission. I needed someone that could relate. None other than the man, the myth, the legend, Frank. Hello? How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling about my car's extended warranty? How about you extend these? After spending three hours convincing Frank that I was not a telemarketer, he finally agreed to meet me in person. <coughs> Frank? <coughs> oh, hey. Oh, thank you so much for helping me out. It truly means a lot. Um, do you mind if I record our interaction? Uh, actually, yeah, I do mind. Oh, what if I gave you five dollars? Make it six, and then you could film. I have to say, I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you again for helping me out. Oh, no, the pleasure is all mine. So, let me get this straight. You've been surviving off a shingle talkie for 15 days so far? What's the point? Um, for the views. Interesting. And what do you need from me? Well, I pretty much need your help to survive these last 15 days. I think I can help. And boy, did Frank do just that. The next couple of days, Frank showed me different ways to get my mind off my decaying body. And surprisingly, his techniques actually worked. But I began to realize this wouldn't be enough. And if I wanted to survive, I had to ask Frank the big question. Um, Frank, I have an important question to ask you. Okay, what is it? Here I was about to ask Frank a question that was going to make or break our friendship and determine if I could accomplish this challenge. And let me tell you, I was nervous. Do you like pineapples on your pizza? Yeah, I think they're okay. Oh, thank God. I've been meaning to ask you since I met you. But, but I do have one more question I wanted to ask you. Would you be willing to trade my half talkie for your whole bag of talkies? You know, Anthony, when you first told me what you were doing, I thought you were insane. But now, I'm realizing that you're just a man committed to a cause and someone that would do anything to succeed. And that right there is admirable. So I accept your offer. 
And there it was, exactly what I needed, someone that was finally willing to trade with me. All those days of starvation, all that suffering, all the doubt leading to this very moment, a moment that makes the pain I went through, the delusions, the mental exhaustion worth it because my friend Frank showed me not only how to survive, but what love and compassion really looks like. Frank, I can't thank you enough. I'm finally going to be able to complete the challenge. Wait, the, the bag's empty. You asked me to trade your shingle talkie for my bag. You never said I had to include the talkies. So yeah, Frank played me. And if you're wondering if I made it to day 30, no, I did not. I couldn't handle the starvation. So all of this was for nothing. But I did learn one thing. Old people suck. Not oh, I got like a whiff of that. Does it smell bad? Yes. <laughs> what is going on, Gorilla Fam? Today, I will be ranking Takis. And we have a lot of them. Okay, first up, we have the original Takis Fuego. So, I've had these before. I've had a lot of them before. A and lot, a lot. <laughs> I would say I'm pretty experienced with the Fuego. That's, that's Fuego, all right. That's a Taki. I feel like you have to take more than one bite. Like, you, you like grab like a handful of it and just stuff it in your face. I think that would be better. You want a good bite? Yes, a good bite. All a right. really good bite. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very solid bite, I would say. The single chip tasted spicier to me. Or that, that one chip just destroyed my... Never mind. Straight off the jump, these are pretty spicy. These are, taste great, but the one thing about them, they're too intense for me. I cannot finish a whole bag, but the taste on them is really good and addicting. Takis Fuego. A nine. A nine. That's, that's a bold statement, bro. Because these are hot from the start. <laughs> They taste great, they are spicy, which I love, but I can't finish the whole bag. Like, it's too intense. All right, what else do you got for me? All right, next up, we have the sister of the original Takis. Takis Blue Heat. You, you know what's funny about these chips? Someone at the factory was like, you know what would make these chips even better? Just make them blue. Yeah, and like, this is like a bright blue too. That's pretty blue. This right. is, like, how do you get this color? Where on this earth does this color come from? <laughs> exactly. This is like a made up color. But let's try it out. I will say, they say extreme spice, but I don't taste the extreme as opposed to the fuego. I could finish this entire bag. Blue heat. You already know what I'm gonna do. Why are you writing like that? Because <laughs> I have talkie fingers. <laughs> Blue heat. 10. A 10. A 10. So if we already had a 9, and now we have a 10. Mm -hmm. All right, Takis is off to a good start so far. Takis are Takis for a reason. All right, next up, we have a remix of the original Takis, okay. but in Waves form. Oh, okay. Editor, wave check. No, but put the like the waves fuego on there. Don't even put actual waves. <laughs> Just put yeah. the chips on his head. Waves fuego on my head. I know these are from Mexico, but these smell like the chips from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? If you know, you know. Takis waves. Hold up. These are actually pretty good. These taste like Mexico. These are really good. Wait, so you're telling me it smells like Mexico and now it tastes like Mexico? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, what does tasting like Mexico mean? Like family. So you tell me you just ate your family. I like the food they made, like the, the feeling that the food gives me. Happiness. This is what that means. Mexico means happiness. You know what? Let me just rank it. You know I had to do it to them. Don't do it. You know don't, I had to do it to them. Come on, don't do it to them. Don't do it to them. Please, don't do it. A 10. A 10 plus. plus. A 10 plus. I thought blue heat was good, but no. These are better than Blue Heat, and I really like Blue Heat. I gotta say, if I didn't know any better, I would say that you're a Takis fanboy. It looks like I am. 
All right, next up, we have pretty much the Takis originals, but just in skinnier form, the Taki sticks. When did these come out? What yeah. is this? <laughs> what is the, like, I was not expecting these. I thought they were thicker. That's like one fourth of the width. This looks like a, what's Finding Nemo, uh, an, 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 an enemy. Like we're, we're finding where Nemo lives. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> an, 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 an enemy. Or what's it? I, I feel like you're pronouncing it wrong, but I know exactly what you're talking uh, about. An enemy. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to say it. Anen see an enemy. An enemy. See an enemy. An see, see enemy. Right off the jump, these need more talky dust. Like, don't be stingy on the dust. And yeah, the corn, like, it wasn't good. But... Taki sticks. Get the stick out of my face. A four. The corn taste is just way overpowering. Like the first original Takis, that one was spicy. It was good. There's no dust in this one. All right, for this next one, this one actually sounds pretty tasty. Crunchy fajitas. The spice indicator says mild, or as some people say, mild. I feel like every time you eat, you have like a stink look on your face. I can't tell if you like it or not. I am analyzing. <laughs> I don't really taste spice. There's no lemon here. So what else do you have? Just that corn flavor again. Yeah, like I don't want to eat another one. Actually, okay, yeah. A five. Fair enough, fair enough. Like fair it's enough. not, they're not bad. They're just not that good. Like me. I feel like that describes a lot of people. Especially me. <laughs> Next up, we're going back to the original, well, the original shape, but we're changing the flavor. Takis Nitro. Oh, okay, I see you. Takis Nitro. From the jump, I see a habanero right there. <laughs> Oh. oh, that's intense. Those are like blood red. Yes. That's kind of intimidating, to be honest. To you. Yeah, to me, I guess, to me, yeah. To me, these look perfect. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat them. Mm. Whoa. Big Papa Taki <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right, if I don't taste, if I don't, this is a lot of flavor. Yo, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. I think you got a defect right there, bro. Do I have to save this? Like, I do, I, do I share this for my children? No, I do think I you, save should, it? you should eat it. You should eat it. I don't know those kids yet. This is the first time I tried these, and it's not going to be the last. You know I had to do it to them. A, Boom! A 10. A 10. Wow. You saw my face. I tasted them like instantly. You have the spice, you have the lemon, you have the crunch, and you have the love. Those are made with love, lots of love. All right, this last one, I think you're gonna love this. I think it's weird. I think it's super weird, actually. Okay. Takis meat sticks. Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me right, meat sticks. They be coming out with whatever nowadays. You know, these might actually not be too bad. Oh, I got like a whiff of that. Does it smell bad? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> what is this? What kind of meat is this? It says meat stick. From where? This armadillo back? What is this? Yeah, it doesn't say what kind of meat actually. It could so be zebra knuckle for all we know. <laughs> it could be anything actually. <laughs> Like, oh, um, dude, it smells so bad. What did I get myself into? A spit out. That's the first spit out of the whole video. First of all, whose idea was this? I want to talk. Second of all, who approved this idea? I want to talk too. Dude, there had to be like 10 people that approved this. Did they even taste it with just simple Dude, taste? Let me let me try, let me try. I kind of want to try. <laughs> no, you don't. It has a texture of like rubber and it just tastes like a nasty like Slim Jim. FDA, 
Where are you when we need you? Negative three. There's a bunch of yes men at the Takis headquarters, apparently. Because, <laughs> oh my God, like that, it should, that should not be a thing. And I am not exaggerating. That is bad. I kept my Takis fingers. No. I have all the Takis in my fingers. Don't tell me you're going to do what I think you're going to do. Oh, I'm going to do it. It's not that bad. Whatever you guys want me to rank next, let us know in the comments down below. Right now. And we'll see if we do it. Because most likely, I'll do it. My name is Frank, and I'm now addicted to Blue Heat Talkies. Life is too short to be wasting it on useless things like my wife and my family. So that's why I spend every waking moment with the things I love. These beauties. Mwah. Ah, now this is heaven. <laughs> what was that? You said I don't love you. What are you talking about? I love you, I love you, I love... Why are you getting jealous now? I was hugging you all... Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. You can't have any of my blue heat talkies. No! Get out of here! Skedaddle, you chickens! So, some people have children, and other people have pets. But good old Frank has something way better. I present to you the tastiest, the most beautiful, and the world's biggest blue heat talkie. This is two and a half feet of pure perfection. This talkie is the length of like 200 normal talkies, and it tastes just as good. <laughs> Oh, it smells spicy, and my goodness, look how beautiful it is. It reminds me of my ex-wife, but way better. <laughs> Ain't that right? Hi, welcome to Jack in the Box. Can I take your order? Hi, I have a question. Do you accept payments of Blue Heat Talkies? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Do you accept payments? A blue heat talkies like the best chips in the world. The blue ones. No. No? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll take my business elsewhere. Thank you. My love for blue heat talkies runs so deep that I mix it in everything I use. Blue heat toothpaste. This right here has changed my dental hygiene. <laughs> I don't know if it cleans much, but I just know it tastes great. <laughs> I always put a generous amount <laughs> because I love the flavor. <laughs> oh yeah, nice and white. I also have Blue heat lotion. This right here keeps my skin nice and moisturized. <laughs> but the thing about it is, it's really spicy, so it just burns your skin a lot. But you know what they say, pain is beauty. Ah. Ah. One thing about me, I got a great set of hair. And my beauty secret is this blue heat shampoo. This recipe was made by yours truly. I apply this shampoo about twice a day and it keeps my hair sleek, shiny, and smelling good. But just like the lotion, it burned. Oh. Ah, there's something about these blue heat talkies that really get my mind going. And once all gears are in motion, there's no stopping me. 
Rock-a-bye, baby, on a bench swing. Baby, you are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. I will do anything, anything to make you happy. <laughs> if you put a seed in soil, eventually it'll grow into something beautiful. So if I put a talkie in soil, it should grow into a beautiful tree. <laughs> in about six months, these little babies are gonna be blue heat trees. <laughs> this coffee is some of the best tasting coffee in the world. I also have my blue heat sugar. Be generous now, don't be scared. And not only that, my own blue heat creamer, but be careful with this one. All you need is a couple drops. That should be enough. Then you just mix it all together and you have the world's finest coffee. Cheers. Oh, why? That'll put a nickel in your pocket and a thorn in your toe. Oh my God, I could run a marathon, I'll be back. <laughs> to me, life is like a bag of blue heat talkies. Beautiful, spicy, and full of love. Yo, Anthony, you want some talkies? Yeah, I'll take some. All right, catch. Oh, blue heat, thanks, that's my favorite. Whoever finishes this bag of Takis first wins $100. So. Bro, this is hard. <laughs> mm hmm It's dry. There ain't no way I'm finishing this. <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought. <sighs> I'm good, I'm good. I think I still have like half the bag left. Bruh. My jaw hurts. <sighs> Final stretch. Mm. Run! Bro, no. dude, there ain't no way. Mm. Dude, you're a monster, dude. That's how the pin does it. I still have like half my <laughs> bag left. <laughs> oh, my jaw hurts. Living off Takis for 24 hours. But not me, Saul. What? You said we weren't filming today. No, we're filming. And you're gonna do everything with Takis. And I mean everything. What do you mean by that? Oh, you'll find out. Let's go have breakfast. Do you like chilaquiles? Actually, I love chilaquiles. That's my favorite. I didn't know that. Well, today, I was gonna make Taki's chilaquiles. Oh, snap. <laughs> but the sauce you're gonna make is gonna be blue heat sauce. Well, I'm gonna start cutting the cilantro. I mean, you're just picking each leaf like, like, like that? Is that how you do it? Yeah. Is that weird? I think two, right? Yeah, yeah, and then get the onion. Oh, now it's time for the spice. <laughs> All right, let's get it. That's it, no, you gotta add more, you gotta add more. Is this the first blue hitaki salsa? Yo, this looks like, like my mom's green juice. <laughs> add the takis fuego tortilla base. Let's see, ready? Mexico, we're sorry. What are your thoughts? Okay. It's giving Indian food. It's because it smells good. That's the only reason why I'm, I still have hope. But let's try it. Let's see. It's just like my body is just telling me no. But what about your heart? What does your heart say? It's giving a heart attack. Finish that up. We got something else planned for you. <laughs> so right now, you are gonna guess the Takis flavor. Okay, um, I'm gonna try my best, but disclaimer, I have only tried two Takis before in my life. If you guess all the Takis flavors correctly, you will win a hundred dollars. How do I know that's a hundred though? Let's see, I'm gonna feed them to you. First one. That is Fuego. Number two. I wanna say blue. The third one. Is that pepino? <laughs> I'm gonna do mystery. Okay. Cause it tastes like pepino. And you said there's no pepino. There's no pepino flavor. Let's go with the next one. Oh, what the heck? It brought me back to 2006, going to the tiendita and I'm picking up a random bag of chips and I open it and I smell that. And then I hear my mom screaming at me because the lady took more money cause I didn't know how to count pesos. I think that's fajita. All right, last one. 
That's gotta be nitro. So what was the first one? Fuego. Blue, uh, heat. Okay. You said it was the mystery new, bag. The, the new flavor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fajita, then um, ham sandwich. Uh, what is it? Nitro. So I will take off the blindfold. Uh, I'm sorry, but this stays with me. So I was really off, huh? Yeah, you got one right. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to lunch. For lunch, you're gonna be eating takis nachos. All right, I thought y'all gonna make me do some weird, nasty thing. So the kettles are the base. Nice. Intense nacho and cheese. It's just takis cheese. And you have other takis as your ingredients. Ooh, let's see. For your cheese, you know? You want me to hold the bag? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do Ryan Garcia bag, who? Yeah. Ryan Garcia who? If you want like- What you get for making me drink Prime every single day, Ramo. Cheese Louise. Ooh. All right, so please uh, melt it for me. I'll set my bowl. I'll try my best, I'll be back. All right. All right, we got crunchy fajitas. Fuego, can't go wrong with fuego. How high do you think I can make it go? Woo! Let's just throw that in there. And I think, honestly, I think we're good. Looks like Ramon is pulling up with the cheese. Is that the cheese? This is what we got. This is your cheese, bro? This thing stinks. See, when you mix cheddar and chihuahua, you get a chupacabra. Yo, we, why we got Cosmo and Wanda here, bro? Oh. So let me explain. So right here, we have the blue heat salsa that we made earlier. So I swear I saw you guys throw it out. So you've had that before, but look at this. This pink substance here is actually sour cream with nitro takis. Add that salsa. We're gonna add the Cosmo on there. Oh, no, that does not look good. Yo, it's bubbling. Why is it bubbling? I don't know. You said it wasn't going to be that bad. Yeah. No, you, you got to <laughs> get, get one with the works. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, tastes straight like throw up. Why it bounce like that? <laughs> so we just had lunch. But now we're going to play a little game of horse. But not just horse. We're playing Taki. T-A-K-I. So that means I can win. I can punish you. We'll see about that. So wherever you make it, that's where I got to shoot it from? Yes. All right, LeBron. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's go. It's what I needed. I need a little pressure. Oh, you got T. Oh my. All right. Balling! Oh! I still up. That was a nice shot. Oh! Oh my god. This is like that shot where it's like, it looks easy, but it's hard. The hard. sun's like right there. They're all hard. <gasps> I can't see anything. Hold <laughs> up. Let's ah. go! <laughs> yeah. The bank's closed right now. TA. I have TA. Ooh, okay. You suck. Ah, uh, corner three. Woo! I'm back, baby. Oh, TA. Uh. <laughs> I'm a man on a mission. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yo. One more? Yeah, one more is the last one. Oh, I gotta do it big. This is a curry three. Oh. Right here. Okay. There's a lot of pressure. Because yeah, it's those easy shots that are hard, you know? Well, get out of my... Oh yeah. my God! <laughs> T-A-K, T-A-K. The Curry 3. There it is. It's not over. Oh, snap. Hey, 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 hey. This one goes out to all my haters. Look at me now, Grandma. Look at me, look at me now, Mama. Bruh, uh. I lost to that. So there's a punishment, and I guess it's on me. All right, so we just played basketball, and now- Who won? You. <laughs> All right, go on, sorry. Now it's time for dinner. We're gonna make some taki breaded chicken and some taki rice. Hey, 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 hey. Little chicken right here. Yeah, give, it a, yeah. give it a little bath. Get it? Boom, and don't be scared. Mm. And that's it. All right, we got chicken little right here. Let's dip them in. Don't be scared Don't now. be scared. Go and throw that bad memory jammer into the taki crumb base solution. Don't be scared now. 
Yeah. All right, let's get the other one. Yeah, but let's make sure these are properly cooked. I don't want <laughs> medium rare chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also made some rice. Arroz. But we can't just have rice. There it is. Blue Takis rice. It doesn't look that bad. Looks like something like someone in The Simpsons would eat. Put that bad boy right here. You gotta see if it's cooked. Ooh! Yeah, we might have did some. Yeah, we might have did some. That look, let me see what we thinking. Is it cooked? Serving some rice over here. Ooh. Five star right here, five star. I present to you some blue heat rice and some Takis Fuego breaded chicken. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good. Um, the smell is a little weird. Chicken does look cooked well. It's like getting a chicken tender, but the rice scares me a little. I see it moving, I see it blinking. I'll start with the rice, I'll start with the okay. rice. Okay. Blue heat rice. Was it good? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moment of truth, right? Oof. What we thinking? The chicken was cooked very good. Very juicy. Okay. This is good. This is good? Yeah, it's good. You want to try some? Might have done something. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Hey, yo, Beast Burger, watch out. Because here comes Gorilla Chicken. Coming gorilla soon. Chicken coming soon. I have ideas in the kitchen. So finish your dinner. You think the video's over? Because uh, if I recall, you lost the basketball yeah. challenge. And I didn't forget. I've been punished all day. Now's your turn. Okay. Finish your chicken. I'll get my punishment ready. I can't do this. No. I might vomit. Yo. Look at my eyes. Oh. Yo, my eyes are burning right now. No, no, I can't. I'm gonna take a sip. This is already enough punishment. No. Guys, I need you to like the video. I need you to subscribe. I can't look at this. If you want to breathe as much as you want to succeed, then you'll be successful. Life is not all sunshines and rainbows. It's a cruel, cruel world. And it will knock you down if you let it. Uh, it's talky water. I tried everything you tried. <laughs> give it a sip, just give it a sip. This is the end. Take a sip, I'll take another big one. This is my punishment. It tastes like dog water. <laughs> You're right, it just tastes like Taki. Good work. Oh, you lived off Takis for 24 hours. It's got the aftertaste right now. Unfortunately, I had the punishment. You tried it. Tried it. But I think you did great. You came, you saw, you conquered. Comment down below how many Takis you think I could fit in my mouth all at once. One Taki. Three Takis. Five Takis. All right, now I have 10 Takis. Oh, now I have 15 Takis. Mm, mm -hmm. Now I have 20 Takis. Subscribe if you think I could do it. Oh, oh. Okay, now I have 25 Takis. Let's go. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Oh, come on, I already told you, I never touched that hot Cheeto. Yeah, I never touched it. What kind of man would I be? A cheater? You know that's not me, baby. It's you and- My name is Frank, and I'm fascinated, addicted to, and in love with Takis. Takis are hands down the most beautiful thing ever created. The chip looks like it was handcrafted by God himself, and the bag, the bag is a masterpiece. So I did what anyone else would do. I made clothes out of them. Okay, are you ready? I'm coming out now. So what do you think, huh? My very own Takis Winter Collection. I got the blue heat sweater on the top and the original Takis sweatpants on the bottom. And boy, oh boy, do I feel hot. Ever since I've been wearing this, I've been getting all sorts of compliments and people hitting me up. Bad Bunny wanted to borrow this. The Met Gala invited me to their show or whatever they have. But I don't care about none of that. Cause me right now, I'm going on a date. So if you excuse me, I got somewhere to go. I eat Takis nonstop. Breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, heck even a midnight snack. 
it doesn't matter. You'll always find me with a bag of Takis, but sometimes I need a little more Takis. So I created a solution. I love everything about eating Takis, but there is one thing that I don't like, and that's the size of their bags. This is the biggest bag they have, and that's simply unacceptable. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. This right here is the Godzilla bag of Takis. Ain't she a beauty? Now instead of using multiple bags a day, I could just use one. Oh. Mm. This bag contains one million grams of Takis, and you bet old friend finishes the whole thing. Yeah, I also take this bad boy everywhere I go. Wow, this is a really nice neighborhood. Maybe one day you and me can move here. So do you want a big wedding or a small wedding? Cause you know we could go to Vegas and just get it done right now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what are you looking at? You never seen a man with his wife? A big bag of talkies? Huh? Do we have a problem? You got me there last time, but this time's gonna be different. You ready? Here I come. Come on, come on, come on, run, 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 you got it. Oh, that was close though, that was close. I'll give you that one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, baby, I got you. Oh, 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 see, I told you I got you, see? Talkies are a huge part of my life, and they'll always be by my side. So I decided to share that passion with the world. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank, and today I am doing a Takis mug bang. Oh. Do you believe that I got her a bag of Takis for her birthday? And she didn't like it? Are you kidding me now? I really do believe that we should replace the currency with Takis. The value of the dollar just goes down. These bags of Takis just keep on going up. I'm talking Takis movies, Takis books, a world tour. Are you kidding me? Mm. And that's pretty much it for today. I'm sorry it's not the usual amount, but I'll make it up next week. Cause next week I'm going for a hundred pounds of Takis. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo! They say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they also say, sometimes things are better when they're bigger. So, you've seen my one foot talking before, and man, was it incredible. But I thought to myself, how can I take something that's perfect and make it perfect-er? So I made them five feet. I present to you the world's largest Takis. Five feet of spicy goodness, mm mm mm. These Takis are like my children. <laughs> Only thing is, I actually love these. <laughs> Ain't that right, my little ones? Let's go get ice cream. <laughs> Takis have made me feel things that I've never felt before. Happiness, fulfillment, and love. Takis have changed my life. No, Takis saved my life. I'm gonna show you how I eat Takis. First, you start with your blue Takis. Oh yeah. Then you add some lime juice. Ooh, it smells so good already. Add the Valentina all over the place. Mix it all around, and you're good to go. Mmm. Oh wait, can't forget the jalapeno. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh my. This is a little less talkies than I expected, but it'll do for today. <laughs> my name is Frank, and I'm still addicted to. Blue Heat Talkies. <laughs> Everybody has something cool in their house, whether that's a theater room, a game room, but me, I have something better. I have a Blue Heat room. <laughs> oh my, look at it. It's beautiful in here. I wake up every single morning with a purpose. And that purpose is to bathe in blue heat Takis. I mean, come on. I feel like a king when I'm in here. <sighs> mm. I sure love my blue heat Takis, but I also love 
my blue heat fingers. <laughs> Finding my one true love has almost been impossible due to my addiction to blue heat talkies. That is until I met Takita, the one person for me. I mean, look at her, her sense of fashion, her skin and her hair. Oh, her hair is so delicious and beautiful just like her. It's me and her against the world. You're just as beautiful as the first time I saw you, oh yeah. Oh. oh, there it is. My very own blue heat popsicle. Have you guys ever seen one? No, you haven't. Because I'm the only one that has ever made it. No one knows blue heat talkies more than me. And I mean no one. So if you think you know someone that can challenge me, guess what? You don't. If this was them, I'd crush them. Every time I leave the house, I always make sure to pack a couple blue heat talkies bags with me. <laughs> Today I'm going on a picnic, so I packed a couple extra in the bag. Nothing too much though. I should be there for a couple hours. <laughs> so if you excuse me, I have some Takis to eat. Oh, yeah. Ooh -wee. You got the bread, you got the sauce, you got the cheese, and oh, do you got the Takis. <laughs> give me a little, give me a little spin, baby. Oh, oh, baby, no, no, I said a spin, uh, not this. My family knows me as the Blue Heat King, but now the streets are gonna know me as the Blue Heat King. Check out my new license plate. <laughs> Some people like water in their hot tub. Well, I like pure Blue Heat talkies in my pool. It doesn't get hotter than this. <laughs> the thing about this room, I come here to relax, to eat, and it's just my sanctuary. This is my happy place. <laughs> My talkies levels are getting a little low. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> 997, 998, 999. I'm missing a bag of talkies. Who took my bag of blue heat talkies from my pool? Who? It was you. Cameraman, give me back my bag of talkies. Get to your pockets. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get my bag back. Come here. Ugh. Eating all these talkies does make me thirsty. So that's why I stay hydrated. <laughs> but I don't just drink water. Oh no. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> I drink blue heat water. <laughs> Mmm, muy caliente. <laughs> mm. I could eat about 15 of these in the summertime. Before Taquita came into my life, my life meant nothing. But with her by my side, she spiced things up, just like these talkies. To me, there is nothing more beautiful than Taquita. <laughs> Taquita, are you gonna join me? <laughs> You better not, there's only room for one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. No one loves Takis more than you. I am the Blue Heat King. <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. <laughs> and you can still eat these. Ooh, I almost drowned in here. I'm missing a bag of blue heat talkies. It was you. Give it back. Give it back right now. Help, help. Takita, it's okay. Takita, stay with me. Don't go to sleep. Oh, 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 oh my God. 
¡Oh, my God! ¡Taquita! ¡Oh, oh no! ¿Qué hago? ¡Oh, oh! Oh, oh. Somebody call 911! Somebody call 911! Oh, oh, Takita! Oh, oh. I need to run away. I need to flee the country. Uh, it's okay, Takita. I never wanted to do this. I'm not an animal. Oh. 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 I spent $10,000 on blue heat talkies, and I don't know what to do with them. So comment down below if you would want some. Have you ever put talkies on ravioli? Ooh, that looks pretty. What about on sushi? I just want it like this. Today, Ramon is going to be taking everyday food items and adding talkies to them. What? And you won't believe how far he'll go to answer the question, <laughs> is everything better with talkies? Ramon. Do you think Takis can make everything taste better? Yeah, why not? I like spice on everything and Takis are kind of spicy, so I'd say yeah. All right, well, we're gonna test that theory today. First on the list, we have a Big Mac. Ooh, a Big Mac, classic. Wow, perfect bun. You can't go wrong with a Big Mac. I think I'm gonna like this. Pile them on. I have a feeling this would work. The one thing I wish McDonald's had more of is spice. And it's also gonna add a little crunch to it. You guys see that nice little layer right there? The world's first Big Mac Taki, or Big Taki Mac. All right, let's try it. How is it? The Mac sauce is pretty overpowering, but I do get the, the spiciness of the Takis. What really stands out is the crunch though. It's pretty good. This is like, uh, you know when you like go to a pool, you get out, you're hungry, so you can have like a nice little sandwich, but you put chips on top, it's the same thing. I think McDonald's needs to add this to the menu. McDonald's, call us up. The Big Taki Mac, you're welcome, McDonald's. Takis on a Big Mac? Yes. Okay, Ramon, we're gonna take a little break from the food, and next up, we're gonna do chocolate milk. Specifically, Nesquik chocolate milk. Milk, chocolate, and Takis. They should never be in a sentence to get together. <laughs> I'm scared for this one. I've never thought of making chocolate milk spicy. I'll give you that one. But I will say it makes everything better in theory. Nesquik, nice little mix of roux. <laughs> I'm not confident about this one. I'm, I'm definitely not confident with this one at all. What does it look like? I put a lot of chocolate milk in there, a lot of chocolate. It needs a lot of Takis. Is this chocolate milk? Oh, no. With red and blue Takis. Ugh. There's a Takis chocolate milk cereal right here. That looks so unappetizing, bro. Cheers. <laughs> Bruh. Mm -mm. Nah. Nah. I'm trying not to throw up right now. I'm trying really hard. So, Ramon, is Nesquik chocolate milk Takis approved? No. No, 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 no. Now we have probably your childhood favorite, correct me if I'm wrong, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They're still my favorite. I actually eat probably one a week. Chunky, though. I prefer chunky peanut butter. Okay, I've had some sort of spicy jelly before. Where are you finding these items? <laughs> it was like a habanero type jelly. It was it was pretty good, but it wasn't Takis flavored, okay? Wait, so you do more peanut butter than jelly? Chunky. That is, um, I feel like you're probably in the minority to do that. How's that for aesthetics right here? Little <laughs> I like that. I like that. That looks like, um, it's like Tetris. Put your jelly over it. Mm. It sounded like it had a good crunch to it. Mm -mm. No? It definitely adds texture, but the Takis overpowers the peanut butter and the jelly. I thought it'd be better. I took a nice bite. I got in there. I don't feel the need for a second bite. With confidence, I can say Takis do not make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches better. Okay, next on the list, we have eggs. Classic scrambled egg. I'm Mexican. I need spice on everything I eat. He's not exaggerating. This guy literally puts spice on every single thing he eats. Who eats eggs just like this? Who? You need salsa, you need tapatio, you need something. You need to spice it up. Let's do that. 
Oh, crushing it up, I see. I'm being generous now, too. This one could go either way. I'm not too sure about this one, but let's just try it. You might just have to eat with your hands, man. <laughs> you know what? I like how you did all that crushing up for nothing. <laughs> I mean, the eggs are have talky dust on them. Let's see. Take both bites at the exact same time. So I'm assuming it's pretty good. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad at all. Takis are great if you need to add texture to your food. That crunch? Like who has crunchy eggs? If you're watching at home, add some Takis to your eggs. I think this is a win. So would you say eggs are Takis approved? I would say that eggs are Takis approved for sure. All right, next up we have a classic ice cream. This is gonna be interesting. Cause I love ice cream by itself. Yeah, I've had spicy ice cream before. I mean, when you go to places like Cold Stone, like you can add like all sorts of things. You can add like peanuts, like candies and all of that stuff. So, I mean, Takis isn't that crazy, really. Sweet and s salty and spicy. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's try it. Would you like some ice cream with that Takis? I'm doing this so you guys don't have to, or maybe you have to, it just depends. So let's see. That was a quick no. <laughs> uh, no? Instantly no. Uh, it's just it's the tortilla chip aspect with the ice cream. Maybe that's why they don't have chips at Cold Stone. Takis does not go with ice cream. It does not make it better. Okay, next on the list, we have a classic ravioli. It smells good. Wait, first off, do you like ravioli? Yeah, I, I like okay, ravioli. Okay. But I will say, like always, I wish it was spicy. I've never thought about putting Takis on ravioli. So let's just try it. Let's go with the blue. Oh, the blue Takis. There you go. That's that's a good bite right there. You got three Takis on top of a ravioli. Oof. <laughs> I like it. The heat from the blue heat does make this better. The sauce is cool, it's all right. The pasta, it's pasta. The dust from this blue heat, I don't know where it's from, but it tastes great. I feel like it's a safe assumption to assume that the creator of ravioli didn't want blue heat Takis added. Who created ravioli, Chef Boyardee? <laughs> Chef Boyardee, add Takis to your ravioli. This isn't bad, I'm, I am tasting the heat. It does still have that crunch, it does make it better. This next dish, we're going a little healthier. We're going with the salad. To get your greens in, right? But this is boring. Yeah, who wants to eat a salad? It does have the texture with the croutons, which I love, but salad is salad. You don't want to eat it. These might make it better for sure. What technique are we going with this one? Both at the same time. I feel like that's a cop out though. Let's make a creation. Let's mix it up and let, let's see what we create. People at home probably think we're crazy for combining these foods, but I think we're geniuses. It looks good though. I mean, good is subjective. It's like a spicy crouton. Yeah, I always thought of how to make a salad spicier. The dressing maybe, but now the croutons. Wait, did you just say you always thought about how to make a salad spicy? Like I said, <laughs> I want everything spicy. Bro, who thinks, who looks at a salad and is like, yo, how can I make this spicy? I've never heard anyone say that in my life. Like I said, I'm different. Mothers, fathers at home, add takis to your salad and maybe kids will start eating salad more. I will say it is salad, so I think it's all right. Takis do help it, it adds that crunch, almost crouton-like, and it's spicier. So I will say Takis makes salad better. Have you ever thought about adding Takis to your sushi? This smells good. I just want it like this. I love sushi. I'm a huge fan of sushi. Probably one of my favorite foods. But um, yeah, I have never thought about adding Takis to it. You can't go wrong with sushi. There's a role for everyone, right? Some are crunchier, some are just more fishy. They got lots of flavors. So with sushi, I'm kind of good with my spice. Takis on this, I think I'm gonna like this one. Let's see. <laughs> Whoever made this sushi roll, we apologize. Not yet. Let me try it first. That is true, because if it's good, then we don't apologize. Yeah. Like, bro, what are you doing? A California roll with some Takis. This is the Takis roll. Hold on. I was going to ask for a fork. 
Are you going to use the Takis as chopsticks? I'm not very good with chopsticks. I mean, in your defense, those are really small chopsticks. <laughs> I feel like you just got to like stab the Takis inside of it. Yeah. Does this deserve seconds, Ramon? I think so. I just destroyed it. I mean, the fact that you went for seconds tells me it has to be pretty decent. It's not bad. Do you want the roll with a little more spice that you're used to? Because wasabi, it's not for everyone, right? Go for it. Might have to take a little bag of Takis next time I go to the sushi spot and just add it to my sushi as the chef gets mad. So would you say that Takis make sushi better? I will say it makes them better because the crunch, the crunch and that spice. So Takis make sushi better. Well, Ramon, I think you did a great job. So overall, do you think Takis make food better? Depending on the food, but I would say yes. But just be careful, because not with milk though, or peanut butter and some other things. But for the most part, Takis do make things better.